quick request on how to make a nail scraper, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that. The first way, you're going to need um, a paintbrush. And you're just going to kind of cut it upward. Or across, even. But don't cut all the way across. <laughs> Oh, and the first and second ways are pretty much alike, just so you know. Oh, I'm not giving my friend's name because this is, like, on a video, and I don't think she wants to know everyone to know her name. Because her name is very unique. So, yeah. So that's how you make a thinner striper, is, like, with the paintbrush. So now it looks like that. And so you're just going to ah, clean it off a bit because it's going to be a bit like, this one's a really thin I found, but yeah, sorry guys. So now you're just going to get a glob of polish and just dip the brush in. And now you have really nice, ah, really nice thin lines and they are very thin so you're gonna have to be careful with them okay, is to take an old nail polish brush this is just from like this really crappy thick nail polish um so first you're just going to wipe the brush off ah, wipe the brush off on a side of paper just to get off the excess polish Okay, so now that it's a bit cleaner, <laughs> you are going to cut it down to size. And this is basically the same way as the other one, but this is just a bit better just because you can get more of a grip and stuff. It's more like an actual striper as well, so you can also just screw this on to any of your nail polishes. So I'm just cutting this across partly. Don't go all the way, otherwise you won't have a brush. And then just pulling the brush fibers down. Don't want to rip my nails. I have a tutorial on how to do my nails, by the way. And then just take a brush and just pull this off. See how it's still quite wide? I still want to get, oh, see how it's still quite wide? I'm still going to get it cut along. This is for more of a thin. And then what you do from there when you have it the desired size, this one's a bit thicker, just dip it into the polish. And stripe. I'm just going to even it out. So if there's any kind of strands. There we go. That are obnoxious and they stick out because they're just trying to bother you. Right? Right. Right? Right. Okay. I'll shut up now. Ah! Okay. Tell me to shut up. How will you? Okay. So. Okay. So then you're just going to, ah, that's the wrong polish. Sorry guys, here. Okay, so just get your glob of polish out. And paint your lines. Like I said, these ones are a bit thicker, but compared to the actual normal stroke of a brush, they're not. See, that's the, hey, you can't see. Sorry. So that's a normal stroke, and that's the striper stroke. Okay. The last way is the simplest. This is a way you can use if you don't have any of the above. It is just your ordinary toothpick. 
This one isn't as soft, but it works. So take a glob and take the toothpick. It'll make quite a thin line, but like, and they're gonna, so to do this, just dip it in, wait for it to kind of dry for a minute or so, and then dip it in and you'll get a bit better line. It will take a few lines to, in order to get a solid line, but that's one way if you don't have any of the above. Okay? So that's how you make your own striper. Bye, guys!